Hello students, welcome to Ishwari Taniksha channel. This is your Ishwari ma'am. Students, in this video, we are going to learn trick to identify weak field ligand and strong field ligand. This is from the chapter coordination compounds. So students, before learning the trick, so let us see what is ligand. So you know that whenever there is a metal in the coordination compound, there will be a ligand. And ligand will form coordination coordinate bond with the central metal atom. So here this is called as coordinate bond. Coordinate bond. So students, the condition for this is metal atom should have vacant d orbital. So this is d orbital vacant d orbital. So metal atom should be having vacant d orbital and ligand will share a pair of electron with the vacant orbital. So two electrons will be shared by the ligand with the metal atom. So this is called as the ligand that is a ligand is a atom or a group of atom which will donate or share a pair of electron with the vacant d orbital so now we will see how to identify a weak field ligand and a strong field ligand so we'll take some examples now examples for ligands so we'll take f minus cl minus br minus I minus CN minus NC minus CO then OH minus then SCN minus then uh, SCN SCN we wrote so C2O4 minus 2 and then we can take uh, ammonia NH3 then ethylene diamond so all these are ligands so in this we have to find out which is a strong field ligand and which is weak field ligand so we'll see the trick for that so trick number one trick number one so what is the trick here to find out generally ligands Generally ligands in which donor atom donor atoms are halogens oxygen or sulfur. So if you see these three atoms then this will be weak field ligand so this will be weak field ligand so this is trick number one so now let us find out which is weak field ligand from the example so students what is trick number one you should see if the donor atoms donor atoms are halogen oxygen and sulfur then they are weak field ligands so we will identify now so weak field ligand we will circle with red pen so here halogens halogens are f minus cl minus br minus i minus all these are weak field ligands and also oxygen so if oxygen is a donor atom then it will be a weak field ligand so here here carbon is the donor atom so this is not a weak field ligand so here oh minus so here in oh minus oxygen is the donor atom so we should identify donor atom donor atom so oh minus is the weak field ligand and then sulfur so here scn minus sulfur is the donor atom so sulfur is the donor atom donor atom so scn minus is also a weak field ligand so we uh, and here C2O4 minus so here if you see which is the donor atom present here so again here oxygen will be the 
donor atom so oxygen is donor atom so even this is a weak field ligand so weak field ligand we are rounding off with the red color pen so next we will identify strong field ligand so what is the trick for that trick number 2 so what is trick number 2 generally generally ligands in which donor atoms donor atoms are carbon nitrogen and phosphorus and phosphorus so if this or the donor atom then they are called as strong ligands strong ligands so now let us identify and we will circle with red color pen so see here cn minus so in cn uh, cn minus you can see uh, nitrogen will be the donor atom so here carbon nitrogen so here you can see in cn minus carbon will be the donor atom therefore this is a strong ligand in nc minus n will be the donor atom therefore nc minus is also a strong ligand so we'll write sl strong ligand this is also strong ligand and then in co if you come to co here carbon will be the donor atom so even this is a strong ligand so coming to ammonia so in ammonia if you see nitrogen will be the donor atom so here nitrogen if it is donor atom it is a strong ligand so this is also a strong ligand and coming to en en is nothing but ethylene diamine so what is the uh, structure for ethylene diamine it is ch2 nh2 ch2 nh2 so here lone pair on nitrogen lone pair on nitrogen so nitrogen will be the donor atom here this nitrogen will be the donor atom so since nitrogen is the donor atom in ethylene diamine even this will be the strong ligand so using this tricks we can identify easily which is strong ligand and which is weak ligand so here i have marked red color will be weak ligands and this green color will be strong ligands students i hope you like the trick uh, you can share this with your friends and also you can subscribe the channel I will meet you in the next video students. Bye-bye.